What's up, everybody? Joe from Joe's Golden Garage. Coming to you today from a Mercedes Benz. Everybody knows I'm a sucker for a nice Benz. And boy, this is a nice one. And it is a special one at that. 2011 E350 Blue Tech. Yes, that's right. The diesel. Got 106,000 miles. Let's see. Oh, she sounds good. I don't know a whole lot about these. I know people have mixed feelings about these Blue Tech cars. This one seems to sound all right with no warning lights. Very special, special car. Man, this is nice. Holy cow. I mean, this joker is like new. But boy, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could roll the dice on owning one of these. <laughs> I hear the last year to buy in these Mercedes diesels is the, um, the 0506 CDI. I don't know a whole lot. I know these blue techs get kind of complicated with their emission systems and what have you. Oh God, this thing rides good over bumps. I mean, just boom, boom. This thing is in very, very good condition. Pretty well optioned up. I mean, we don't have push button start, but we do have the optional wood steering wheel um, and nav. Um, we have heated seats, no cooled seats. We have the sunshade. So I guess this has the premium package. Oh my God. Ooh, we and torque for days. Holy cow, man. Wow. What a torquey, torquey machine. <laughs> oh god, this thing is awesome. <laughs> uh. Oh jeez. I mean, that's like three-quarter throttle. Ooh, man, she'll run. The only thing I'm noticing about this interior, it's in really good shape, like really clean and in good condition, but this wood trim has, it's fading. Like it has a white haze to it on the doors, dash, doors, dash. Uh, in the back seats, it looks pretty good, but up front, it's kind of got this haze. I don't know if you guys can really see that or not. Sorry, no seat belt. Let's put her in park. Push button. Let you rev her out to 3,000 RPM. That's about it. Man, it runs really well. This is a, uh, a new car trade-in at... Um, well, dang, there's the hood release on these. New car trade-in at a huge dealership out of Alabama called Donahue. That is a pretty car, folks. I guess she's black. What chassis is this? I forget. After W211, is this a W212? These came out in 09. I mean, 10. They came out in 10, 11, 12, 13. Got a refresh in 14. Look at that big old diesel V6. Holy smokes, man. Shoot. She runs really well little bit of smoke coming out of there. Don't know if that's normal or not. But dang, and headlights are new. Plastic. 
We got fairly new bridge stones on there. All the way around. Holy cow. What a nice car. We'll do a bit on this car tomorrow against me. I may bet on this one. Um, I don't want to keep it though because I'm afraid of it. But I'd buy it and resell it. These blue techs are hard to find. And one with no issues, which this one seems to be ready to go. I need to pull a Carfax on it. I got to do a little due diligence because this one will probably cost me a little bit. But, you know, people don't bid on Mercedes and some of these luxury brands as high up as, you know, say like a Chevy Malibu. I mean, this car could literally sell for the cost of a Ford Fusion, even in this, you know, crazy market we have right now with the crazy uh, car prices. Um... You know, like last week. I mean, I stole that Mercedes, y'all. <laughs> I mean, I stole it. Uh, and it's such a nice guy, car. And I got a guy coming to look at it today at 4.30. And if I sell it, I will have done very well. This is a treat. Wow. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace.